Have you ever had someone tell you you can't do something because of their limitations? An example happened to me when my partner and I, Phil Stubbs, buddy and I were going to row across the Atlantic. They said, man, you can't do this, let alone win the race. Fortunately, we did both. <laughs> well, some of you may know that we have just got into Darwin recently having supported Bonnie Hancock's attempt to circumnavigate around Australia in a kayak. And we got here and we went to a function and a bloke said to her, you can't get from here to Cape York, the Gulf of Carpentaria, you just will not be able to do that. Now she's had that the whole time, right from the word go, when she started this epic challenge from Gold Coast seven, eight months ago to now in Darwin. She's had it all the way along. What a negative mindset. If you think you can do it, you're right. If you think you can't do it, you're right. So most of these people are well-intentioned. They're just limiting Bonnie by saying what they know they can't do. But if Bonnie had listened to those voices, she wouldn't be where she is now, two days away from finishing her epic circumnavigation of Australia. And we've been lucky enough to be invited down to the Gold Coast. Our bags are packed. We're heading to the airport. We're getting the red eye all the way to Brisbane, then getting a car and driving down to the Gold Coast. We're leaving the boys and Chanel on board. What could possibly go wrong? What the heck? If you follow our channel, you will have hopefully seen our trip through the crocodile infested waters of the Kimberley as a support vessel for Bonnie Hancock and her Paddle of Oz team's circumnavigation of Australia by kayak. In May, we witnessed Bonnie kayak 1,600 kilometers from Broome to Darwin, but she had set off from her home on the Gold Coast on December the 19th last year. Bonnie has made incredible time paddling under the bite up the West Coast through the Northern Territory and back down the East Coast, and she's made it look easy, but it's been anything but. Bonnie has put up with extreme muscle pain, crippling seasickness and adverse weather conditions, but she just keeps going and all with a smile on her face. In two days time, she'll be wrapping up her epic voyage when she returns to the Gold Coast eight months and nine days after she last saw it, having broken four records. Bonnie has smashed the previous circumnavigation record by over two months. Now, with only eight kilometers left to paddle to complete the circle, we are catching up with her on the eve of her record-breaking journey. Several hours later. We are on the road. We are on the road. It's a very familiar stretch of road. We spent three months on the Gold Coast when we had our lightning strike. So, yeah. And we are on the Gold Coast, in case you're wondering the relevance yeah. of that comment. We're heading down to meet Bonnie this afternoon. She hasn't actually finished the whole of her row. She has seven kilometers left to go, but because the, they had to negotiate to get there for the TV cameras, they said they had to give a date and the date is tomorrow. And so she has rocked up at uh, Southport on the Gold Coast and has seven kilometers to go tomorrow to finish off and the TV cameras will be on the beach. Well, we're gonna meet her tonight going out for dinner she doesn't know we're here so that would be quite fun oh that'll be a great surprise yeah. for her oh yeah she'll love she'll that, that. she would be like oh my goodness oh, all my dreams have come true oh, <laughs> um i think it's quite special for us anyway we're looking forward to it she yeah. doesn't know anything about it at the yeah, moment we're, so. we're very excited yeah but we have to go and buy some shoes we've got to stop at a place called harbour town it's a big uh, shopping center on the gold coast because we're so used to being in jandals or flip-flops or bare feet that we don't actually have any shoes for this kind of weather. So that's that's our first stop. So Rachel, who are these two young strapping fellas you got on your side there? Security! These guys also help Bonnie. These are, they're called the gold diggers. They spend their time in the Pilbara digging for gold. Yeah. So how did you guys, I don't know the story with you guys. Well, Nathan, Nathan's oh, the beginning oh. of the story. He, he ran into the crew down at um, at Seabird down near Lancelin. But yeah, okay. he's the best yeah. man to tell it. I was going down to the beach 
have a tinny, go and have a look at the water, have a look at the surf. Got down on my turn off, I was going to go left to Gilderton, and I just had this overwhelming urge to go right. And then I run into these guys, man, and they were like down on the boat ramp, just coming out of the water. Yeah, nice. Like, yeah, Bonnie's walking up the beach, like up the ramp, Maddie's pulling the ski up, all the boys. They were all just like running around, tying stuff down the ski and that. I was like, man, have a look at this. They got stickers, all sorts of sponsorship yeah. stuff, hey, everywhere. I'm just going, man, I've got to talk to these guys. They look real like adventurous. Real adventurous, eh? Yeah. Like, real adventurous. They got themselves from Carnarvon all the way up to Exmouth, which is a pretty hell trip. Yeah, yeah. And, and then gave us a call, or gave Nathan a call, and he, he just got up to Carnarvon for visiting me. And, yeah. and they've come up <laughs> to do some prospecting and the rest of it, and a bit of filming, and yeah, and they rang up and said, oh. we need. Yeah, we need another support this one. Do you know anyone with a boat up that way? Oh, oh, yes. So I sent a picture with old mate going, like this here, man, go, will this one work? Yeah, man, you're on. Where's like, this history? Man, we want no. you, Zoe. We're from, yeah. going from Exmouth to Broome on the water and meeting these. Oh, you know, so you took them all the way to Broome? Yeah. All yeah. the way. Oh. These amazing yeah. people. Yeah. Sick. It was a yeah. Yeah. This oh, inspiration. Oh, I think because beach. I you then. Yeah. Then yeah. we took them Broome onwards. Yep. It was a sickest adventure. Oh yeah. man, camping yeah. on the beaches, Any we camping on the islands, sucking and weaving. Yeah, yeah, yeah brilliant. It's an adventure. So let's get to, get to more current things. What are we doing right now? We're now going in. We're all going to surprise Bonnie. She doesn't so, know we're here. She doesn't know. No. She's going to be in tears. Oh, I think we're going to be in tears. Oh man, I'm going to cry as well. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll just lay out. Yeah. Yeah. I've already so cried twice so today. Because oh, that's it. Isn't she amazing? Isn't she incredible? I cried in the showers. I was getting ready. One of the most strongest. Minded oh, isn't body isn't she, isn't person she something I've she? ever met oh, in my yeah. life. Yeah. Like just an inspiration, man. Like just giving us guys, like yeah. you know myself, and I can speak for old mate here, Ryan. Like just giving us the pep and the will, like yeah. just to move on and do what we want to do in life, yeah. man. Instead yeah, of just giving up, going ah, whatever. We just watch shit go by. Yeah. Man, get up, get off your bum, and just get into it. That's so, exactly how we feel. Have a look at this lady. She's yeah. just inspired us. So she is like us so too. Amazing. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's too. crazy. <laughs> yeah. I reckon too, because these right. guys are here. So. Should we get yeah. in there? Sick. Let's, let's, do it. Uh, let's go do this. Yeah. Let's, let's do it. it. Let's do it. Woo! 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 Oh, you bloody champion. Hey, oh, you bloody champion. Oh <laughs> I, um, I got your message like, wish we could be there. And I was like, well, <laughs> and I was like, well it's not them. And I was like, oh my God. Like, this is one of Today is the day we're going to go and see Bonnie coming in. She'll be kayaking now. It's uh, about quarter to seven in the morning. I've already been for my run. I went at half five. That's the Bonnie effect. Got to get it done. So we're off now up the coast to see her arrive. I'm here ready to start the last day of the Shore Partners Paddle Balls. I've got an eight kilometer paddle to get to BND North Cliff. I've got some company joining me along the way. It's a bit overcast, which is amazing, and um, I feel like it's really ominous. I feel like we've come from the dark and we're going towards the light, towards me and being all good, and um, I'm so excited to finish this off. It's relief, it's excitement, it's, um, it's all of the above, and I can't wait to see everyone there. Through the smoke, through the ash, through the flames, and it burns like a fire in my veins. Filming you here. Yeah. I'm getting emotional. I've just seen Bonnie. She's about to go. Yeah. 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 Ye
about five minutes away. My goodness, we can see her. Well, she's here. She's done it. Bonnie, congratulations, 254 days, you are back at Northcliffe. Congratulations. Thank you so much. The adrenaline's pumping. I am so stoked to be here at BMD Northcliffe. It's been a massive eight months and what a welcome. I couldn't ask for anything more. Bonnie is only the fifth person in history to successfully circumnavigate Australia in a ski or kayak. If this can inspire anyone to get out there and be their best self and help people in their dark place, then I'll be such a happy girl. I did not want to get to 80 years old and be sitting there and wondered if I could have done it. That was special, that was really cool. And to be part of it, to be here, and the crowds, and the whole media, the cameras, it's all, whoa, it's all very sensational, is probably the closest word I can get to describe it. But the reality of it, that's actually a little, there's a little bit of, I don't wanna say fiction, but there's an element of staging because this is not actually the official finish for Bonnie. The real finish is four kilometers further south. Uh, they had to finish here for a whole lot of sponsor reasons. Bonnie now is going to do probably the most significant four kilometres of the entire journey, actually, by herself, with no media razzmatazz. 254 days ago, Bonnie Hancock walked out of Mermaid Surf Club and headed south. Now she's going to do this last four kilometres. As you know yourself, Rob, after you complete a big journey, it's a mixed bag of emotions. It's sort of like, you know, one part of this amazing journey is finished. So there's sort of a part of you that's leaving yeah. that behind. It's overwhelming relief and then it's also excitement. So it was all a mixed bag this morning. Yeah. Um, I personally um, got emotional paddling in as well. That's when it yeah. actually hit me because yeah. I was able to look up and when I sort of waved, and um, I, oh God, I was thinking, just hold the ski straight as well. I thought if there's one wave you hold in your whole life, make it this one, for goodness sake. But um, it was, uh, I must have got a rush of emotion and sprinted up the chute and then it was done. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was so special to have that moment out the back as well yeah. and just savour it that time. By yourself, eh? Yeah, yeah. So on that note, and this is the real note, isn't it? You're going to have the last moment to save it by yourself. These last 4K? Couple of K, I think it's yet a bit under 4K, and um, we're going down to, to Mermaid Beach. Are you doing this by yourself? To survive on my yeah. own, and yeah. um, that is where it all started on the 19th of December. And um, we live across the road. I'm in Mermaid Beach Surf Club. It's going to be so special. Um, I've imagined this for a long time. It's what's got me through some really tough days, and um, I cannot wait. This bit feels surreal, so I'm going to paddle that bit on my own. I'm going to paddle it really slowly and the Mermaid Beach community are, are waiting down there and I'm really excited. Last day Matt, last few kilometres of what has been an incredible challenge. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I um, yeah, I think this is a really nice moment to put in the water for the last time. and um, It's been a, a really, really big eight months. Every day has had its challenges. And, you know, we felt like with you guys, we felt like you're a huge part of the story, but you were 15 days. We were, I know, we were yeah. blip. Like, we were a blip. Yeah. Part, yeah. But, like, you know, it just shows a positive. Mind you, it's left, it's left us with a life of yeah. memory and yeah. just it's changed our lives. I'm so glad we did it. Yeah. yeah. We're really grateful for mm. us to have an impact on you for sure. Yeah. If you enjoyed this episode, please comment, give us a thumbs up, and best of all, share it. It helps us heaps.